up to the line of scrimmage, first and 10 at the 34-yard line. Bobby Douglas, one time Chicago Bear, and of course also spent some time with the San Diego Chargers. Straight handoff goes to number 34, Tony Galbraith. He gets it out to the 38. Pick up a close to five on the play. It'll be second down five. Here's the 49ers defensive lineup. That ferocious front four. 20 sacks in the last three games after they had only 11 in the first five. 49er linebackers. Luis Elio playing in the middle. And the secondary. Second down. Saints need five at their 38-yard line. Douglas feeding the ball to the second man through. Mike Strong. And Strong is going to be very close for a first down at the 44-yard line. Bruce Elia, number 55, the middle linebacker, making the stop. Frank, I talked to Hank Strand before the ball game, and he felt that they really had to isolate Cleveland Elam and run straight at him because he has such a great pass rush, they have to offset it. Measurement here indicates, well, do they have it or don't they? Even the officials a little befuddled over this one. Chuck Haberling. The referee finally indicating that the Saints have a first down at their 44-yard line. The veteran Bobby Douglas. He has an 0-2 record as a starter against San Francisco. Douglas feeding Strawn, and Strawn is caught at the line of scrimmage. Nothing for him at all. Jimmy Webb, number 74, making the stop for the uh, 49ers. And Webb became a papa just about a week ago. We'd like to congratulate him. His wife, uh, Cindy, gave birth to uh, twin sons not too long after the ball game last Sunday night. Two more defensive linemen coming up for the 49ers. If they grow up to be any kind of size like he is, I'm sure they will be. Second and nine. Saints are at their 44-yard line. <laughs> Douglas, who throws it left-handed, of course, hesitates momentarily, gets it out to Galbraith and the former Missouri star has trouble getting back to the line of scrimmage. Again, Webb, number 74, deciphering it along with Tommy Hart, number 53. It'll be third down, and uh, let's call it 10. Frank, Bobby Douglas hasn't played that much this year, and he's really 10 of 17 for the year for 77 yards. It's 59%. He has one touchdown and two interceptions. So uh, we'll see if that rust is going to hamper him today. It's a tough 49er defense. That's the way Douglas has performed in past outings against the 49ers. Two touchdowns, three interceptions. Third down, 10. Saints at their 44. Going outside. Mike Strong. And again, it is Jimmy Webb who is all over the field in this first series of downs. And we have a 49er shaking up on the play. Looks like it might be Dave Washington. Pick up of eight yards on the play. It'll be a couple shy of the first down, and the Saints will have to punt. But Washington is hurting, and he's pointing to his left knee. That would be a big blow for the 49ers because he's really been the most consistent uh, linebacker for the 49ers. He has two interceptions on the year, and it's very active. He's in there on passing situations when they take the other two linebackers out. This telecast is presented by authority of the National Football League. It's intended for the private use of our audience and any rebroadcast or other use of this telecast without the express written consent of the New Orleans Saints and the National Football League is prohibited. Dave Washington of the 49ers being tended to when we head back to play and we're still early in the ball game. Two minutes and 45 seconds old. It'll be fourth down and a long two needed for the first down for the Saints. This will be passing other scores to you along the course of the afternoon. Philadelphia leads Washington 7 to nothing. Ron Jaworski got it cranked up. Boy, they're, re they're really playing good ball. After last week's win over the uh, Saints, they really look good. 22-yard pass from Jaworski to Tom Sullivan. CBS Sports Spectacular coming up this weekend, and we've got some interesting events for you. I think you're really going to enjoy it. WBA light heavyweight boxing bout. That will be one of the... Uh, the headliners televised live from Milan, Italy. Galindez against Gregory. That'll be his ninth title defense. That's not all. The Turf Classic will also be coming your way. One of the outstanding horse races. And the strongest men competition. A lot of interest built up in that in recent weeks, and they've got another goodie for it. They're going to try to get those guys to lift a car. They're going to have to grab the rear bumper of a car and lift it straight up. You believe that? <laughs> 
Well, then they have them pulling a, a train and bending a bar. Now they're going to pull a car. Saints punter is Blanchard. Tom Blanchard is first in the NFC and second in the NFL. Second only to Ray Guy of Oakland. He's punted it 48 times this year for a 41.8 average. Stan Black is deep, number 26, along with Tony Leonard, number 42. The other nine men on the line of scrimmage for the 49ers. And Blanchard angling it for the far sidelines. They let it bounce at the five, and will it go in? It goes in for the touchback. Saints kind of messed around with it at the one yard line. It looked like they had a good opportunity to down it before it got to the goal line, but they let it roll on in, and it's a touchback. The Saints players shake it up on the play. We'll be back at the Superdome after this timeout. Introducing the Ford in your future, the new Ford Fairmont. A new car designed for today and the years ahead. At 33 miles per gallon highway, 23 city, Fairmont has the highest mileage ratings in its class. Yet it has 90% of the head, leg, and shoulder room of most large cars. And base sticker prices for the Fairmont line start at just $35.89. Fairmont, roomy but with mileage like a small car. And the lowest sticker price in its class. Test drive Fairmont. The newest, better idea from Ford. This is an Archer Electronic Smoke Alarm from Radio Shack. It can save your life and property by detecting smoke before it's too late. And alerting you with a loud, continuous horn sound. It's on sale now at only $21.88. A small price to pay for so much peace of mind. Protect your home or business today with a low-cost Archer Electronic Smoke Alarm. Only at Radio Shack. A Tandy Company. Nick, what happens in a case like this? Looks like they got an excellent opportunity to down it before it hits the goal line. Well, watch Eddie Lewis. Eddie Lewis here blocks Jimmy Stewart so he can't get to the ball, and Jimmy Stewart then can't control it. So it goes into the end zone, and now the 49ers have it on the 20-yard line. So you have to give credit to Eddie Lewis for making a good ball, a good play. Stewart was shaken up on the play, and that's going to hurt the Saints now. He's been playing regular in their defensive backfield, filling in for Tommy Myers, who was also injured. So they are really short of defenders in that defensive backfield, and Plunkett may be looking in that direction. Now keep in mind, the Saints have the worst defense in the NFC, particularly against the run. Washington goes wide to the right side. Harrison is split to the left. Williams and Jackson, the setbacks. Here's Wilbur Jackson. Over the middle, out to the 22, maybe the 23, before Alex Price, number 75, and Derlin Moore, number 74 stack him up. Jackson seems to be rather inconsistent from one year to the next. We'll take a look at the 49er receivers. Tom Mitchell, of course, has come out very strong here in recent weeks. He's catching just about everything that Plunkett is throwing his way. Second down, seven. 49ers at their 23. No score. We're still early in the first period at the Superdome in New Orleans. Delvin Williams, 1,000-yard rusher last year caught at the line of scrimmage, and again it was Price, number 75, who was over there quickly. There's the 49ers starting offensive backfield. Jim Plunkett, who has done extremely well since being allowed to call his own plays, and the veteran 49er offensive line. Frank Wilbert Jackson has been real inconsistent. So far, he rushed 95 times for 301 yards, but the, the rap on him this year is that he's not blocking for Delvin Williams. Third down, six. 49ers. Moving from their 24-yard line. Here's Plunkett. Back to throw his first pass of the day. And over the outstretched arms of the intended receiver, Kenny Harrison, number 83. So that will bring on Tom Woodham to do the punting, and it's interesting to note how Widom turned his act around last week. He's had, had a horrible year, and then he changed. He changed his pattern of how many steps he took, and man, he played some super, super football. He kept Atlanta in its end of the field all afternoon. That's Rich Motti, number 84, back deep. He's a free agent. Out of Penn State. Guy who didn't even play regular at Penn State. A lot of time for Widham, and he hangs it up nicely, but Marty will return it. Kicked by the 49ers, but it'll 
I'm sure, come back to where it was kicked originally. And that'll be the 40-yard line, will it not? Or will it? Of course, if they rule it was kicked unintentionally, they may move it back to, no, they're bringing it back to the 40-yard line, so the Saints will put it in play from there. Time out here at the Superdome in New Orleans. Saints will take over when we come back in one minute. Sears National Automotive Values. From the people who brought you die-hard batteries comes the muzzler, the aluminized muffler from Sears. Only $19.99 installed. Sears announces a price rollback on the steel-belted Guardsman radio, double steel toughness, and regular prices are reduced $36 to $68 a set at Sears. Well, the weather up here is tough on everything. Oh, you kind of feel good that you have a diehard. <laughs> uh, you need a good battery in the city of Anchorage. In Anchorage, they buy more diehards than any other battery. I think the diehard was probably designed with Anchorage in mind. Yeah, we depend on the diehard. Turns that motor over just fantastic. And so far, Sears diehard battery has been a good battery for me. The diehard, with extra power to start your car when most batteries won't. Turn the key over and go, you know what? Sold only at Sears. Also part of the attractions here at the Superdome in New Orleans, in case the game gets a little boring, there are other things to look at. You could be in my starting backfield any day, Frank. <laughs> Saints have the ball, first and ten from their 41. Willie Harper has come in for Dave Washington in that linebacker position. Washington has some kind of a hip injury, we're told, and we don't know if he will return. Saints stick it on the ground pretty well, and off straight up the middle going to Tony Galbraith, and again Jimmy Webb in on the stop, but not before a... Picked up six times this uh, this time around. This is the game plan by Hank Stram. Run right at Cleveland Hill. You see a good job by Hill, the center. And finally, Willie Harper comes over. An interesting point is that Bruce Ely is starting in the middle. He got his opportunity to, to start when uh, Willie Harper got hurt. Now Harper got the starting position since Washington got hurt. Second and four. Saints at their 46. Marty in motion again up the middle. And stopped short of the first down is number 33, Mike Strawn. What's the theory on running against a guy who's supposed to be the toughest lineman in Cleveland Elam? You well, think you would you not have success that way? Well, he's the best pass rusher. That, that's not saying he's the best uh, all-around player on the line. He's, he's real quick. He, he takes sides, see how the, the line can get to him and open up the hole. But Elam is best when he can really take off, take a side, put a move on, and get to the rusher or the passer. Against the run, he's just average. Third down. Saints need two for the first down. Ball is at their 48. Strong driving for the first, and he'll be very close at the San Francisco 49-yard line. They need another measurement here. Willie Harper, 59, and Bruce Elia, 55, on the stop. Harper was hurt several weeks ago and then got well and then couldn't get back in the lineup. But now he's replaced Dave Washington. Saints did get the first at the 49-yard line of San Francisco. Eight minutes, 35 seconds left to play in the opening period, no score. Frank Lieber along with Nick Modicani from the Superdome in New Orleans, Louisiana. Marty, number 84, in motion across the back of the other one of the Saints jump. It was the tight end, Henry Childs, number 85. If you look at it again, you'll see it. At the top of your screen, it was very obvious, and he's unhappy with himself. Also got a word that uh, Stewart, Jim Stewart, has a knee injury, and it is questionable as to whether or not he will return. I'm sure the 49ers will probably take the, the penalty to push him back inside their own 50. Hank, Str Hank Stram has really been discouraged this year because of the injuries. Let's get the call here. Illegal motion, offense, refuse, second down. That shows how much you know, Bona County. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they call me an analyst, Frank. Do they ever, when you were playing, uh, let you make the decision on the pen layer? Do you always have to look to the bench? No, she'll uh, amplify everything from the bench. Clear and concise. But no problem at all hearing you, huh? Second down, nine. Saints from the 49-yard line. Strong. Nifty draw play by the New Orleans Saints. Moves the ball down to the 40-yard line. They're about a yard shy of the first down. Now, let's watch uh, Cleveland Elam on this play. He's number 72. Watch the pass rush he takes. Just to the outside, they run up inside of him, so that was the key. The outside rush is strong. Just takes a hold. 
between Zanders and Hill and almost got the first down. So they are working on Cleveland Elam. I tell you, this kid Strawn is no slouch, even though he's filling in for Chuck Muncie, because Muncie is now apparently in Hank Stram's doghouse. He runs the football very well. Third down, and two needed for the first down, and Strawn has the first down again. At the 38-yard line, Tony Galbraith, number 34, leading the interference through a fine block, enabling Strawn to pick up the first down. So the New Orleans Saints are on the move. Strawn is a third-year man out of Iowa State. He was not that high a draft choice, but he has run well for the Saints. Mike Strawn's nickname is Bloodhound. I guess what he does in the offseason, Frank. He works for the New Orleans Police Department. <laughs> That's very appropriate in that case. Third first down for the Saints. They're moving now from the 49er 38-yard line. Still sticking on the ground. Galbraith over the right side. Let's see, what is he? Thrown one pass so far, and that was a little shorty? That's right. Now, Galbraith has rushed 90 times for 322 yards, and the boos you hear are for Chuck Muncie, who just came into the ball game, and Muncie missed two days of practice this week without an excuse from Hank Stram, and he was fine. But Stram said he would not start him, but he would play him. It's a difficult position that the coach is in. There's Muncie, the number one draft choice of the Saints a year ago. Great running back out of California, and Muncie carries to the 31-yard line. Cedric Hardeman, number 86, and Cleveland Elam, number 72. Making the tackle for the San Francisco 49ers. Third down. And the Saints will need two for the first down. Six minutes left to play in the opening period. Muncie so far for the year has carried the ball 123 times for 523 yards of 4.2 average and four TDs. He's one of the top ball carriers in the NFC. He's in the top five, the number four position. Third down two, and Muncie picks up the first down and drags several 49ers with him to the 25-yard line. And it's Amazing how quickly those boos can turn to cheers. <laughs> Seen that happen many a time, right? Now, Hank Stram is really sticking with his game plan. He said he was going to run at the 49er defense, and that's what he's doing. He hasn't even tried to put the ball up in the air. Now, the key here is Galbraith. Watch Galbraith make the block here, leading Muncie up through the hole. And, Frank, I think you could have run for those two I yards. I question <laughs> that, but nevertheless, the Saints have another first down after that six-yard pickup. Kim Jones, number 32, has come into the backfield. New Orleans, first and 10 from the 25. Jones getting the call that time. That's the fourth running back used by Hank Stram here in the first period. Tommy Hart made the stop on him. Jones is a second-year man out of Colorado State who hasn't distinguished himself yet. As we said, we have some other scores for you from Tampa Bay. The Giants lead Tampa Bay at halftime. 10 nothing. We've just got an update on that. The Giants uh, is now 10 to three. Second and six. Well, adjusting to the run that time, the 49er defense stopped Jones virtually at the line of scrimmage. Let's see where they put it down. They're going to mark it at the 21 yard line. That'll set a third down, and they still need six for the first down. Ed Gallagher has come into the ball game for the 49ers, replacing Jim Webb at the left defensive tackle. I don't know if Webb was injured or whether they were running at him so much that they decided to take him out. Jones comes back out, and Muncie is back in. Muncie, 42. You see him over the shoulder of Bobby Douglas. Third down. Let's make it seventh for the first down. Flags go down as the 49ers look like they jumped the gun that time. Let's see whether or not they were drawn offside. Chuck Haberling, the referee, talking things over with his fellow officials. And we'll see which way this one goes. Of course, this could be against the 49ers, which it is. And the Saints will still have a couple of yards to go for the first down. Got some other scores. Kansas City leads Chicago 7-0 in the first period. Miami 7, New Orleans, or rather New England nothing. Encroachment number 75, defense. That's it, Gallagher, who just came in for Jim Webb. And Seattle leads the Jets 7-0. That's also a first-period score. You know, Frank, it's interesting to look at the Chicago Bears and wonder how they could play so well, then all of a sudden play so bad. 
Well, we worked that game in Houston last week, and they did play bad. Third down, short yardage, Muncie for the first down inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. Crowd of around 50,000 in the Superdome, which is well below capacity. That play picked up 8 yards. Fine ground game shown by the Saints. Well, that offensive line is doing an excellent job. Number 77, Marv Montgomery, and 34, Tony Galbraith making a great block. And Muncie doing a little bit on his own to get those eight yards. Muncie a back, obviously, with great talent. First down, goal to go. Saints from the San Francisco eight-yard line. Bobby Douglas at quarterback. That's Galbraith. Galbraith is over. Touchdown. That was just a great power run by Tony Galbraith. Now watch the block by number 68. Galbraith just finds the hole. Now watch the power. Just drives and pushes and fights. Steve made the great block. Galbraith supplied the power. You have six points for the Saints. Not one man hit him low. Everybody tried to tackle him high. I don't know where the 49ers were, but they sure were not in this path. Rich Zaro will attempt the extra point with the punter, Tom Blanchard, to hold. He's got it. A 59-yard drive and 13 plays and all of it on the ground for the New Orleans Saints. And they have jumped ahead of the San Francisco 49ers by a score of 7 to nothing. We're the Van Arsdales, Tom and Dick. We're identical twins. And we drink identical beers. Light beer from Miller. We love it. The best thing about light beer is it's, it's less taste. filling. Great taste. Less filling. It's got a third less calories than the regular beer. Great taste, Tom. Less filling. And I'm not Tom. You are. Oh, I'm Dan. You think you oh, are. You are. You never were. Light beer from Miller. Everything you always wanted in a beer and less. Hey, Charlie, it was cold last night. You put in the Preston in the freeze? Presto, presto. Who needs presto? Presto, presto. You need presto. If your antifreeze is worn out or you don't have enough, you could be in trouble. So put in a fresh fill of presto, too, to prevent corrosion and freeze ups. Presto, presto. We need presto. Presto, presto. You need presto. The whole weekend. Yeah, we'll go away. Rhoda and Mike plan a weekend, but Ma kicks up a storm. You've got to be there. Rhoda, tonight at 8, 7 Central and Mountain. Rich Zaro, who sounds like a name you'd see in an eye chart in an optometrist's office. Getting ready to kick off with the deep man is Paul Holper, number 36. He's standing alone at the goal line. Holper, great specialty team player at the 6, 15, 20, 25. Holper is hit at the 28 and dropped. Give me the book here on the scoring drive. The Saints made five first downs in that drive, all running. All 13 plays were running plays, and they converted four third downs during the course of the drive. 23 yards of the kickoff return. Saints lead it 7 0. I tell you, the 49ers need this one because they have Los Angeles coming to Candlestick Park next Sunday. They can win this game. They'll be in a position to do no worse than move a game behind the Rams if they beat them next Sunday. Dell Williams taking the pitch from Pluckett and trying the left side across the 30 to the 32. And Joe Fetterspiel, number 54, the middle linebacker, makes the stop. Baltimore leads Buffalo 24 to 7. That's in the second period. Lydell Mitchell with an 18-yard run, latest touchdown in that one for Baltimore. We got Pittsburgh over Cleveland, 28 to three. That would that would deadlock a Central Division if they beat Cleveland. Second down, seven. 49ers from their 31. Pluck it over the middle and almost intercepted. Bettersfield, the middle linebacker, number 54. And he can't believe it. No, that's Hughes. Make it Hughes instead of Bettersfield. He's trying to go to Delvin Williams, who's just surfing over the middle, and for some reason, Williams stopped and didn't go for the football, and Federfield was really in position to make that interception. You know, you wonder why a guy comes out of the backfield, and, and obviously that Plunkett was going to go to him, and all of a sudden, he stopped. 
Saints take out a couple of linebackers and insert a pair of defensive backs on third down and six. 49ers at their 31 yard line. We've got 225 left to play in the first period. Jim Plunkett. Protection good going for Gene Washington and knocked away. There's an excellent defensive play for you by Chuck Crisp. Number 44, one time New York Giant. And the Saints force the 49ers to punt. And that brings on Tom Woodham. You might just mention what happened to Woodham here in the last week or so. Well, Woodham was using a one and a half step into the ball and was averaging 34 yards a kick. Then he decided last week to go to three steps in punting the football. And he punted for 41.3 average. So the change paid off. His last punt was 35. Rich Marty is deep. Low snap, but Woodham gets it away. Line drive kick, and Marty pulls it down at the 30, 35, 40. And Marty is to the 45. The football is loose, and who got it? San Francisco recovers at the 46-yard line. And the man on top of the ball is Eddie Lewis, number 22. Watch it again. Marty makes a great run here. And what happens so often, on the hit, they get the fumble, and San Francisco recovers. So it breaks up a good New Orleans position. With the price of most things going up, the sticker price of Pinto, the best-selling American small car, is coming down. As of October 3rd, new 78 model Pintos with more standard features will have a lower sticker price than last year's model comparably equipped. Important features are now standard, like AM radio, power front disc brakes, rear window defroster, tinted glass, and protective body side moldings. Ford Pinto, the best-selling American small car. Now more car for the money than last year. At Ford, the better ideas keep coming. Excuse me, uh, do they serve clams here? No, and they don't serve turkeys either. Uh, pardon, monsieur. It's your clothes. You'd look better in Hagar slacks. Or a Hagar sport coat and slacks. Even a Hagar vested suit. A variety of outfits at prices that are uh, easy to swallow. <laughs> voilà, monsieur. Table for one? Make that a table for two. Hagar, because looking good makes you feel good. Well, the Saints forfeited excellent field position there. 49ers recover the fumble and now try to take advantage of the break. A first down at the New Orleans 47-yard line. Kenny Harrison breaks wide to the right side. Gene Washington is split off to the left at the top of your screen. Dell Williams and Wilbur Jackson in the backfield. Harrison starts in motion to fake. The Williams pluck it over the middle. Knocked away by Pat Hughes. Oh, he's playing some kind of pass defensive game. That's two great saves for him. Tried to hit Harrison over the middle. Luckett is now 0 for 4 here in the first period, which has two minutes remaining. Harrison goes in motion and just starts to cut up over the middle. Pat Hughes, playing good linebacker, gets a great drop in here and just tips the ball. I think uh, Harrison would have paid for it had he caught it. Second and 10. 49ers from the 47 yard line of the New Orleans Saints. They trail 7 0. Jim Plunkett calling the signals and again calling his own plays. Protection is good. Sideline throw over the head of the intended receiver. Again, it was Harrison as Gene Washington is being double teamed on the other side and Jackson, number 30, was there. Well, Harrison is open here. Plunkett just waits too long to get him the football. He turns and looks like he's open for an eternity. The ball takes a long while to get there, and Claire Ernie Jackson comes over and makes a good defensive play, but Harrison was open. Harrison is a speed burner, doesn't have the moves of a Gene Washington, but very, very fast. Third down. 49ers need 10 for the first. Still moving from the Saints' 47-yard line. I look for Tom Mitchell on this one. <laughs> A lot of flags there. Lock it going for the bomb for Washington. He's out there. Ernie Jackson, number 30, was back there with him. The ball slightly underthrown. He tried to reach back. Let's see what the penalty call will be. You can almost hear from up here the change in the cadence of Plunkett, which I think drew the Saints. That's such a key factor, really, when for a quarterback. If he can really get that, that cadence so that it can throw the defense off, what it does is it hurts their charge because they can't really take off on you. 
So it is a five-yard penalty against the Saints, and it gives Plunkett another opportunity to try and convert a third-down situation. Offside, defense, number 78. Frank, on that play, number 23, Craig Cassidy was covering Tom Mitchell. Craig Cassidy being the son of former Ohio State great, and Detroit Lion great. Hop along, Cassidy. Plunkett has just gone out of the ball game, and Scott Bull, number 19, is in at quarterback for the 49ers. Third down, five from the 42. We'll try to find out what happened. And again, movement by the Saints. Darlin Moore, number 74, and the 49ers, they just have picked themselves up a first down and penalty. They couldn't do it on three straight passes. That's going to be the case. There's Darlin Moore, the former Oklahoma All-American, a little bit sore at himself. That's unusual. They tried three passes, failed to hit them, and got the first down and two offside penalties. Encroachment number 74, defense, first down. Plunkett is back in there. They have just been equipment repair. That's a first period score. The Chiefs jumping on the Chicago Bears. That's the first 49er first down of the ball game. Plunkett looking for Harrison instead decides to go to Jackson. And we had a marker thrown at the line of scrimmage. Flag down in the pit, as they say. A little holding action against the 49ers will set them back 10 yards and bring up a first and 20 situation. That Kansas City score, that's for Tom Bettis, the new head coach. They won last week for him and jump out ahead 14 another this week. So they're off and running under a new coach. I couldn't believe the Bears last week. We had them against Houston. They fell 47 to nothing, and they just were as flat as any team I've seen. Holding offense number 69. First time. Come on now, Woody Peoples would never hold a nine year veteran. <laughs> First down and 20. 49ers at the Saints 47, back where they started following the fumble recovery, which seemed to be an eternity ago. Jackson really picking his hole nicely inside the 40 to the 36-yard line. He got 10 yards on that play, and it looked like it was jammed, but he made a nifty step there right at the line of scrimmage. Well, number 75, Elix Price is a little upset at himself because he made good penetration, had a hand on Jackson, but couldn't bring him down. That was a good run by Jackson. Baltimore leads Buffalo 24 to 10 in the second period. 26-yard field goal by Carson Long for Buffalo, with just three seconds left to play in the half. Our score, Saints 7, 49ers nothing, second and 10. 49ers from the 37 of New Orleans. Plunkett, who is still looking for his first completed pass. That time throwing into heavy traffic intended for Wilbur Jackson, number 40. Boy, that looked like a traffic jam on the expressway. Petersville and Jim Merlo were both there. And I think they, had, they were more open than uh, Wilbur Jackson was. This is 0 for 6 now. Watch, watch number 57, Merlo. Merlo comes up over in front, and 58, Bittersfield comes over and really puts the clamps on Jackson. Third down, 49ers still need 10 for the first down. They're at the 37-yard line of New Orleans with a minute left in the first period. Dell Williams, 35, 30, and Williams will be close for the first down at the 26-yard line. That may be close enough for measurement. And they were looking for pass, obviously, and the 49ers crossed him up. A lot of people out in front of Dell Williams, number 69, Woody Peoples, number 65, Steve Lawson. Williams just makes a good cut in there. Obvious passing situations, and the 49ers did cross them up. Craig Cassidy, 23, and Pat Hughes, 54, in the stop. And we will require measurement. As you look at the 49er bench, Ken Meyer feeling a lot better than he did this time about a month ago, I imagine. Frank, you know, the both offensive lines, the 49ers and the Saints, have been doing good blocking today, opening up good holes for the running back. Looks like they're going to be slightly short, and that will set up a fourth down and a foot. And they are going for it. The dapper Mr. Stram with the epaulets. Boy, you never see a hair out of place, do you? Never see a hair out of place. His suits are custom made, and he's known as the King of Bourbon Street. Is he? He has a little more 
range here than he did in Kansas City, as far as the nightlife is concerned, I'm sure. It's a toss-up as to who has more money, though. His <laughs> former boss or his present boss? Fourth down, and the 49ers need less than a yard for the first down to keep the drive going. At the St. 27-yard line, we have 46 seconds left to play in the opening period, and New Orleans leading by a score of 7-0. By the way, the Rams have scored on Green Bay at 7-0 in the second period. We'll have all the scores for you at halftime. Jackson stopped at the line of scrimmage. The Saints feel they stopped him cold. This may necessitate another measurement. By the time they get off the, all the bodies off the artificial turf here at the Superdome. This is the place, of course, that you'll see the Super Bowl this year on CBS. Come January. Again, all the hotel rooms are already sold out, Frank. That's amazing. For that game. I think they're booked a year ahead. Here comes the measurement. That was a fourth down play. If the 49ers don't make it, the Saints take over. Watch it. By the length of the ball, the San Francisco 49ers have picked up the first down, and they keep the drive going just inside the St. 27. That was an excellent play by the defensive line. They got up underneath the offensive line of the 49ers, and it allowed Joe Bittersfield, the middle linebacker, to come up over the top and put the clamps on Jackson. Gene Washington wide to the right side. Harrison is split to the left. Jackson and Williams, the setbacks from the eye into the split backfield. Jackson to the 25, down to the 23. That was not the ball. That was his helmet that rolled out of there. And there's the gun. That's the end of the first quarter with the score. The Saints 7 and the 49ers nothing. Special moments, times of your life you'll want to remember in pictures. Smile, Howard. Smile. To help make those pictures look as good as they can, make sure Kodak paper is behind them. If you don't see these words, it isn't Kodak paper. Just look for this sign when you get your pictures. Kodak paper, for a good look at the times of your life. See, wasn't that fun? Who is the number one investment firm in the East? Who is the number one investment firm in the Midwest? Who is the number one investment firm in the South? Who is the number one investment firm in the West? You know who. Merrill Lynch. All around America, more investors turn to Merrill Lynch than any other investment firm. Sure, there are lots of investment firms, but there's only one Merrill Lynch. Panasonic invites you to take a picture of a voice with a Panasonic cassette tape recorder. Things was a lot different than it is now. All with built-in mics. Some with built-in radios. There are pocket models. It should last another 50 years. And even some that record in stereo. Say something. Come on, say something. So take a picture of a voice with Panasonic. Say something, Mark. The head man of the San Francisco 49ers, Ken Meyer, caught an awful lot of flack first month of the season. Lost five games in a row. They were ready to lynch him and Joe Thomas together, but they finally got it together, winning three in a row. Second down, seven. 49ers at the 23-yard line of the New Orleans Saints. Driving for the tying touchdown as Pluckett goes back to throw a rainbow, and Harrison fell down at the five-yard line. And Harrison is looking for the interference call against Ernie Jackson but it is not forthcoming. That just was a super play by Ernie Jackson. He just jammed Harrison as he made the move before Plunkett released the ball. So it wasn't pass interference, just a good defensive play. In the first period, New Orleans had 73 yards rushing and they were minus one passing. 49ers had 31 yards rushing and no yards passing. Doesn't say much for either passing game, does it? Doesn't say much for offense at all, really. Third down, 49ers need seven for the first at the 23 of the Saints. Long count play this time. And too long as the 30-second clock ran out and the 49ers will catch five for delay of game. 
what Luckett was doing there, he started calling the play, then for some unbeknownst reason decided to check it off with 10 seconds left on the time clock, and obviously the clock ran out, five-yard penalty. Delay of the game, offense. So that'll move it back to the 28-yard line. It'll now be third down and 11. Philadelphia, the Redskins tied in the third period at 7-all. Our score, Saints 7, 49ers nothing. 49ers trying to do something about it. Block it. Runs into his own blocker and is sacked at the 38-yard line. Lockett tried to get out of the way and ran into his own blocker, and by that time, the black shirts were all over him. Let's look at it from ground level. Well, they even kept the back, and they kept Wilbur Jackson to try and help on this, and they had plenty of time to throw. And all of a sudden, Plunkett comes, and he's finally corralled by number 78, Eloise Grooms, and 75, Elix Price. So it puts him in a tough situation. Fourth down, and really, fourth down and 20. That puts him out of field goal range, certainly, and Whittem is in. Rich Motti is back, along with Len Willis. That's his third punt of the afternoon, angling for the coffin corner, and doesn't quite make it. Into the end zone for the touchback. So the Saints blunt that drive by San Francisco will take over at the 20-yard line. Our score with 14 minutes and 24 seconds left to play in the first half. New Orleans 7, San Francisco, nothing. Introducing a new 1978 Ford Granada, the ESS. Can you tell it from this impressive $20,000 Mercedes 280SE? Granada. Mercedes. Granada. Mercedes. Granada. Mercedes. The new Ford Granada ESS. See how close you can come to the look of a $20,000 Mercedes at the price of a Granada. When America needs a better idea, Ford puts it on wheels. There's this big argument going on about life beer from Miller. Right. Bill. Some guys argue the best thing about it that it's less filling. That's true. It has a third less calories than the regular beer. Other guys say the best thing about it is its great taste. Here, here. I feel very strongly both ways. After all, I'm not the kind of a guy who ever gets into an argument. <laughs> Light beer from Miller. Everything you always wanted in a beer and less. That's Gumbo the third. The Saints mascot. He looks tough, doesn't he? Probably a pussycat early. You think you got problems, Bona County? Think of Rafferty. He has more than his hands full. A young girl starving to death, a cop walking around with a bullet in his back, and a medical colleague who may be psychotic. You can find out about it tomorrow night at 9 Central and Mountain, 10 Pacific time on CBS. First and ten, Saints at their 20-yard line. And they continue on the ground with Tony Galbraith, number 34, carrying. Gets a couple, moves it out to the 22. Cleveland Elam, number 72, in the stop. The 49ers may be shocked. They haven't been able to rush the pass here because the Saints haven't been passing. Well, that's old Hank's game plan. Now, you can always expect something unusual from Stram. This is a good situation to throw a screen. Second and seven. Saints at their 23. A lot of stunning by the San Francisco defense. Galbraith caught at the line of scrimmage and shoved back inside the 20-yard line. Webb number 74, Harper number 59 in there. And Bruce Elia was also in the territory. Elia came down to Miami, didn't he, originally? Well, Bruce was originally drafted out of Ohio State by the Miami Dolphins. Uh, spent one year down there, was not too happy, then went in the expansion draft to Tampa. And then from Tampa, he was traded to the San Francisco 49ers. Saw limited action last year. Found the starting position this year when Willie Harper got hurt. Found him a hole. Third down, nine. New Orleans Saints at their 21-yard line. Douglas doesn't like something. So let's see if this one will be charged uh, to the Saints. I think it will just be an official time to change the ball. Only seven seconds left on the clock, the time clock. They have to get the playoff. Saints have converted four of five third downs up until this point. This is a third and nine. Better hurry. Just in time, he got the play away. There's a loose football. Who's got it? I believe the 49ers recover at the 13-yard line. Skip Vanderbutt, number 52, and he looked like an Olympic diver the way he came through there. He saw that ball and watched him dive for it. 
Watch number 72. That's Cleveland Elam get his 14th and a half sack here. And Bobby Douglas is running for his life, toss up the ball, and Vanderbilt leaping on the ball, contains it, corrals it, and it's a first and 10 for the 49ers on the 12 yard line of the Saints. You talk about having a nose for the football, Mr. Vanderbilt showed you right there. Great opportunity for the 49ers. They mark it at the 13, first and 10, San Francisco at the Saint 13 yard line. 49ers trail 7 0. Plunkett, straight handoff to Dell Williams, and Williams at most a yard. Fettersfield, number 58, the middle linebacker. You got to like Fettersfield, uh, being a former middle linebacker. Very active guy. He took over a starting job as a rookie, and he's been there ever since. Joe leads the team in tackles, and really, he is Mr. Steady. You never hear anything about him, but yet he's there when, it, when they really need him. He's a very active linebacker. No gain on that last play. It's second and 10. 49ers at the 13-yard line of the New Orleans Saints. Saints defense digging in. Lock it, calling the signals. Lock it, good protection. Tried to get it to Tom Mitchell. Over the middle. Lock it is through very hesitatingly, I say on that. Didn't well, it? Mitchell was trying to clear number 58, Joe Petersfield, but he got his hands on him, shoved him, and he couldn't get the ball to him when he wanted to. Plunkett is now 0 for 8. Not a very impressive statistic, Frank. I would say. <laughs> Third down, 49ers need 10. They're at the 13-yard line of New Orleans. They're one out of five in third down conversions. Saints were offside. Plunkett back to throw it anyway. Give it a shot. Great. Well, I thought he had it. He dropped it. Harrison at the goal line went up. Had the ball, tried to pull it down as he was hit by Pat Hughes, but I believe the Saints were offside. Out of it, Joe Campbell, number 73, their number one draft choice, who is coming to the defensive line. Well, Harrison has seen a lot of balls thrown at him so far, but hasn't been able to field one. 0 for 9 now. He's a young receiver, second year out of Southern Methodist, and he does have 9 3 speed. Offside, 73, defense, third down. 73 is Joe Campbell, rookie out of Maryland, number one draft choice of the Saints. That's the third offside penalty for New Orleans. That is now third down and five for the 49ers at the eight-yard line of the Saints. Williams looking for a hole. Stopped at the six after a pickup of two. Campbell, number 73, and Ernie Jackson. Number 30, moving up from the secondary to stop the 49ers fine runner, Delvin Williams. It'll be fourth and three. The key to that play was Jim Merle, number 57. He took on Wilbur Jackson. It looked like a street fight out there. Ray Wersing, very consistent field goal kicker since he arrived in San Francisco. He is four out of five. His longest has been 50 yards. This will be a 24-yard effort. Little more than an extra point, really. He blew it. Worsing misses it to the right. He consults with his holder, Tom Whittem, as that thing really had kind of a dying look as it took off. It just kind of fluttered up toward the goalpost. As you watch it again, he really scuffed it. Shanked it well to the right. Time out. Back in a minute. except for the insurance and closing. Oh, well, what insurance company? Ah, they're all the same. <laughs> all states different. Different? How? We get a 10% discount for newer homes. Oh? It's a 10% discount. Now 10% off our rate. On basic homeowner's insurance for houses five years old or less. All states different, all right. Good hand. Oh, boy. <laughs> mm -hmm. When it takes being different to be better, all state will do it. That's a promise from us, the good hands people. Announcing a unique new motor oil from Exxon Research that can actually save money. New Golden Natural Uniflow. Uniflow was tested in cars like yours. After break-in, it delivered an overall average of 16 extra miles per tank full. Savings like that could cut your gasoline bill the equivalent of about 3 cents a gallon. New Uniflow motor oil is Exxon's best engine protection ever. It conserves gasoline, saves money. Sorry to bust up the game, fellas, 
Well, I'm Barbara Rhodes, and I thought you might like my address and my number. Busting Lowe's, Wednesday at 8.30, 7.30 Central and Mountain. Well, the Saints fans are happy. San Francisco's recovered two fumbles in New Orleans territory, and they've come up dry, not a single point. First and ten. Saints at the 20-yard line. Following the misfire by Wersing. That's Rich Motti in motion out of the backfield. Again, straight up the middle to Galbraith. I tell you, when this Saints rushing game works, it can be very good, as it was against the Rams two weeks ago. They had 253 yards rushing as a team. And last week against the Eagles, you figure an inferior <laughs> defensive team, they had 78. You figure that out. Tony Galbraith had 100 yards rushing against the Rams, and last week had a minus five. Now, how do you figure Hank Strand exhorting his troops. Second down. Two needed for the first down. Saints from their 28. Give it to Galbraith. Dips inside, then goes back out. And he looks to have it up for the first down at the 31-yard line. Cleveland Elam making the stop. What about the 49er defense? They play that odd man uh, front, don't they? Shift around a little bit? Yeah, they don't play the even man, meaning they don't put their defensive tackles on the offensive guards. They usually put one of their defensive tackles on the center. So it's called an odd front. I wonder if the 49ers finally have figured out what the Saints game plan is. First and 10. Straight up the middle, Mike Strong, number 33, crosses the 35 out to the 37. Nothing really fancy about this type of football, is there? No, what they're doing is they're going to that over defense, and then what the what the Saints are backs are doing is starting to run towards the solid part, then cut it back to the open part, which is where the middle linebacker is. I know it sounds a little technical, but it's really not. Douglas so far has thrown one pass. That was for minus one. Second and five. Saints at their 36. Galbraith, about a yard or so. Maybe two to the 38-yard line. Elam on the bottom of that pile, number 72, along with Bruce Elia, number 55. Frank, when you play that over defense, they call it a bubble, meaning that where the defensive tackle goes over the, the center, there's a bubble created, and the middle linebacker goes there on the offensive guard. Third down, Saints need three for the first down. Ball is spotted at their 39-yard line. John Gilliam, wide to the right side, rest of the tee in tight. It is Strong. Strong will be close for the first down at the 42-yard line. Third period is underway at Buffalo. Baltimore leads Buffalo 24-13. 45-yard field goal, Carson Long for Buffalo. Not enough, and Tom Blanchard comes in to do his number. You know, he wanted to retire after last season. And they talked him out of it. And they are happy they did because he's now the leading punter in the NFC. His last punt was 48 yards. The deep men are Tony Leonard, number 42, and Stan Black, number 26. Black is the short man. Leonard, who ran a punt back for a touchdown last year against the Saints, is the deep man standing on his 16-yard line. We got an official delay of game here. The scoreboard has gone, the major scoreboard's gone completely out. Someone pulled the plug. Speaking of Tom Blanchard, with the injuries to Bobby Scott and Archie Manning, he now becomes the reserve quarterback. He was a quarterback in Oregon, but he hasn't thrown a pass. Uh, well, I won't say he hasn't thrown a pass because he did on a fake field goal, help beat the Rams, but he hasn't taken a snap since he's been with the Saints. I need to be in that position. Especially against this front four. He go, you're right. He goes to all the quarterback meetings, but he doesn't work out as a quarterback, although he may have done so here in the last week because they were in bad shape. Official timeout here as the, the scoreboard has gone berserk here at the, the Superdome. Black completely out, and the, the officials are checking on the time and all. There are nine minutes left to play. That's what used to be the scoreboard. There we go. <laughs> yeah, maybe... Somebody pulled the plug, I just, just like anything else. Very you pull simple. The plug and out it goes. Nine minutes left to play in the first half. Saints leading 7-0. Beautiful punt. Blanchard backing Leonard to the 13-yard line. 
Tony Leonard at the 15, 20, and up to the 25, just short of the 25, as he is hit and stopped by Joe Campbell, number 73. Hey, there's the CBS NFL doubleheader, Minnesota versus Chicago, Tampa Bay at Detroit, Atlanta versus the Saints, and Philadelphia will take on the St. Louis Cardinals. Those are the first games of the doubleheader, and the second games I think will be interesting too. Depending on what part of the country you happen to be, you'll see the Cowboys and the Steelers, or Los Angeles against San Francisco. That will certainly be a big game for the 49ers if they win this one. They battle the uh, Rams uh, next week with a chance to move within one, play, uh, one game of first place. That Dallas-Pittsburgh game ought to be a barn burner up in Pittsburgh. They both, Dallas doesn't need to win, but Pittsburgh certainly does. First and 10, 49ers at their 25-yard line. Jim Plunkett handing to Jackson. Jackson finds a hole over the left side across the 30 to the 32-yard line. We'll take another look at it from ground level. Nice hole there opening for Wilbur Jackson. Well, Wilbur Jackson follows a block of number 65, Lawson. And he starts to put a move on here for some reason. I don't know because there was an opening there. He should have accelerated instead of put a move. I think that hurt him. I think he could have gained more yardage. Chaffin 24, Hughes 54, and Chris 44 in the stop. Second down. Three needed for the first down. 49ers at their 32-yard line. Nice fake to Jackson. Pluck it. A lot of time going for the bomb. Harrison is back there, so is Jackson. And tipped away by Ernie Jackson, number 30. And I'll give Pluckett 0 for 10, and uh, Jackson looks to the heavens and says, thank you to the man upstairs. Third down, three needed for the first down. We'll check some other scores for you as we await. Baltimore 24, Buffalo 13. That's a third period score. Los Angeles leads Green Bay 14-0. That's the second period. And a fourth quarter score, Detroit over Atlanta, 6-3. Third down, three. Our score, Saints 7-0 over the 49ers. Bucket, who is 0-9, is sacked at the 25-yard line. Jim Plunkett, seven minutes and 40 seconds left to go in the first half. He has yet to complete a pass. What's that, your theory on that? Well, that time again, he was looking for Delvin Williams, the running back, coming out of the backfield. He was just looking to pick up the first down, and Hughes, the linebacker, jammed him again. And this is what they've been doing the whole game. They've been hitting the receivers as they come down the field. Plunkett's looking, and as he looks at him, they hit the receiver. He has no place to go with it. Went him to do the punting. Three punts, 37.3 average. Big rush by the Saints, but he gets it away. Marty is deep. Fair catch, 34-yard line of the New Orleans Saints. You know, Marty has got to be a man after your own heart. They said if he didn't make the club this year, he was going to go back to Long Island and open up an Italian bagel joint. <laughs> he wasn't supposed to make this club, Frank, but, you know, that's sheer determination, and he has made it in his starting as a receiver. You shady boy. The closer you shave, boy. The more you will need. The more you will need. Great balls of comfort. Great balls of comfort. To do it with ease. Great balls of comfort. Oh, just like Noxima. Noxima. Great balls of comfort to you. The closer you shave. The more you need soothing, medicated Noxima. Great balls of comfort to you. Whoa, 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 for the millions of people who need a full-size car. Introducing the 1978 Ford LTD. If you need six-passenger space, if you need a roomy trunk, if you want mileage like this, then the full-size 1978 Ford LTD could be just the car for you. 